hope you're not afraid of ghosts. <laughs> it's literally like 75 meters away. Yeah, I can't wait. For those games, I'm, I'm really excited. See, that's the thing is like, superheroes is a weird market for the games, but also like people love that stuff. Like so many casuals, like will play casual people that don't play games buy like superhero games if they're into that type of game enough, you know? Um, So I, I really hope that we see more. I'm just waiting for the day that we get another superhero, like a, a 2020 plus superhero MMO game. I cannot wait for that day to come. Like whenever we get a modern superhero MMO, we get tons and tons of like fantasy and like medieval and all that stuff. But the day that we get like a game similar to like Champions Online, like a modern day version of that, or like a City of Heroes, City of Villains, um, really anything similar to, to that, I am 100% sold. Like, I, uh, dude, that's my biggest thing. I loved City of Heroes, City of Villains back in the day. So like playing a game like that, or like a modern one today, would be so much fun. And it would be even better if we get one that's like, um, like a name, a name brand game. Or even if it was just like an RPG, like create your own hero type thing. I love that kind of stuff. This is way. I need a boat and I need a gun. But do you even do you with your time if you don't Salty. play games? Dude, that's one. what I say. Hey, I, don't fuck around. I don't know how all these people out here like that don't play video games just watch stuff. I don't I dude I my my mind goes I I struggle sitting and watching things sometimes, but like with a video game, you can sit there and like you're interacting with it. So it's not like I can pick up my phone right now while we're racing, you know. I don't know how people like that don't play games just like say like, okay, what am I gonna do today? I guess I'll watch some more stuff. My mind is like, no, I'd rather like play a game that gets a good story, but also like has interaction to it. Thanks, but this is personal. I feel like like that's basically everyone. That's everyone that doesn't play video games, you know? Like parents, even my girlfriend. <laughs> she she watches just tons of YouTube. Like I can't do that. I can watch YouTube, but a lot of times I find myself watching YouTube while grinding something else in an, in another game. And I have it on my other screen. It's probably one of my best RPG. Final Fantasy 14. I really like. I, one day I do want to go back to that game because I think it's pretty interesting. And I really like the fact that like you can you create a character and you can like I uh, change up your classes and stuff. But I haven't played in a while now. I did really like how they kept rewarding me, like back when I was playing it. Um, they kept rewarding me because like I was playing the game and they were like, okay, here's another 30 days since you reach this level. So I didn't even have to get in a subscription since it was my first character. But I think a game came out or something, so I stopped playing. Posting your girlfriend. Dude, imagine having a girlfriend who plays games with you. <laughs> I 
I ask, uh, I ask if he likes to watch any shows, and he says he only uses social media slash socialize. Oh my gosh. Check social media while I'm waiting for something new on my feed. I'll play games for an hour or two. Like, honestly, for myself, I don't Jackie, even really like Jackie, oh, like fuck, watching fuck, stuff unless I'm like time. doing fuck, something fuck, else. Fuck, 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 Are you okay? Fuck, 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 like, oh, earlier today, man. I was watching, oh, before I started streaming, I was watching Doom I'm Patrol right here, while I was uh, like uploading right stuff there, to YouTube and oh. stuff. I I was gonna die like an animal, man. Fucking, yeah, that's like one cool thing that I like. Come on, brother. You okay? I got your back. Fuck! I really, I thought I was gonna be like, like, eh, okay, with Doom Patrol, but I really like it, especially season two. How'd they get you? Like, I think normally shows like kind of does that thing where like, okay, season one was really good, and then season two is like, meh. But I really like both seasons. Like, it's so weird and funny and like. There, I think it's really good. <laughs> and I really, really, really like Titans. That'll be the end of Lee. Man, I don't want anything to do with any of this shit anymore. Nah, Doom. So Doom Patrol is. Think of it uh, a knockoff version of the X Men, but it's DC. That's literally what it is. So, what do you want to do now, Jackie? Elections tomorrow. We want to check out the building, make sure that Big Smiley isn't planning any surprises. But we got some time to kill. I don't know. I almost bought it today, man. For real. I think I'm just gonna go take a walk or something. Got some shit to think about. Sure, man. That's cool. I'll see you tomorrow or something. All right. Don't do anything stupid. She never seen X Men or or uh, Avengers or Justice League. I'm gonna have to unmod you, Dev, until you go watch all of them. Sorry, man. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I think they're all great. X Men is cool lore, yeah, true. Uh, X Men, uh, I'll be honest. Like, so like back in the day, like when those mo movies released, like it wasn't until like Civil War that X Avengers, um, or no, what was it, Captain America: Civil War? When that movie came out, that's when I realized how big of a universe that Marvel actually has been creating this entire time. So that's when I started going back, watching all the older movies and God, um, that's when I started going back and, and, uh, wanting to check out other stuff before that. I didn't care about Thor movies. I didn't really like, I kept up with other ones. But then, like, that's when I started watching, like, Ant-Man, like, the little, um, still big movies, but not as big as, like, Captain America or Iron Man or things like that. Um, so, I, back in the day, I didn't watch any of the X-Men movies. I didn't watch anything really, um, uh, different like that. But, uh, actually, not too long ago, I went and I, I started watching, I watched... X-Men 1, 2, and 3 uh, in one weekend. And then I started watching, like, the newer ones. Which I think they're kind of okay. Like, they're good, but I honestly, like, don't remember much about any of them. Yo, what's going on, uh, Legend? Go meet Jackie.
the election. Oh boy. I remember going to see Midnight showing of en Avengers Endgame and it was hype. Same dude, same. That shit gives me chills. Like no lie. Like I was so excited and like I love watching reaction videos of that kind of stuff. Cause that stuff is so cool to me. <laughs> Like, literally, like, I got chills watching it. And I, I love the vibe of that kind of stuff, too. Like, when you go to, like, a big movie showing, like, something like that. Like, even seeing, like, Star Wars is really cool. Going out of stock fast. Yeah, they're, they're going that really quick. Apparently they're making 4-4 four, four, and I'm just wondering why. Apparently he's going to be, the next movie isn't going to be his last. I think he's going to be in it for a while. At least like another like two or three. Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, I think he's going to join the, the Asgardians. What the fuck? Oh Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. Jackie. Ah, fuck! Jackie! Ah, 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 motherfucker! Ah. I remember seeing that for the first time and I was like, dude, no, what the, the, the hell? Or should I say? I was not Officer expecting Shane. it at all. <laughs> My name is Mr. Tom. Perhaps you heard of me? Fuck you! I'm no cop. Your friend Jackie didn't think so. He was most loyal. But then, I expect you wouldn't have told him anything. You must be a very dangerous man, Wei Shen. Son of a bitch, I'll kill you. Oh, save your energy, Mr. Shen. You need it. The last cup I had in this chair lasted almost 48 hours. Uh, would you like to try for a new record? Legend, I would say if there's not anything specific right now, this, you can probably hold out you do what and wait. Be. There were rumors before. But that's up to you. You will confirm them, and then you will die. That's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. Damn. That's the attitude that makes us strong. Loyalty, discretion. John will be disgraced, and Big Smiley will be elected head of the Song on Yi. Call me when he comes around. There's no rush. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do too. The reason I got my PS4 was because of Uncharted 4, and then I went back and played all the other PS4 games that I missed out on. So I'm probably going to do the same thing with PS5. A lot of the games that are coming out on PS5 will be coming out on PS4 for quite a bit too. So there's time. I only use my PS4 to play God of War. Uh oh, I think we got spotted. Yeah, we did. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna wait until there's a good deal or something like that what the fuck? to buy one. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Dev, you know what I would love to see you do, though? You have a, you have a PS4, right? I'm just curious on your part. Have you thought about getting the new Xbox at all? Especially with Game Pass and everything? 
for the the digital version of Xbox being three hundred dollars. Have you thought about that at all? Damn it! I keep getting knocked out. <laughs> Harry Potter game looks fire in my opinion. Yeah, I think it looks really cool too. Damn, dude, why is it so difficult? Crawl. What the fuck? What the fuck? I came from Xbox 360 to PS4. I don't know much about the new Xbox and what games will be provided. Dude, literally every single Xbox first party game is on Game Pass, plus hundreds of other games. So like, that's what I'm saying is like, if you have a PS4, and you don't really need a PS5. I'm just curious what your opinion would be on getting possibly an Xbox Series S. Um, plus you get like the other hundreds of games on Game Pass. Yeah, they're moving to PC at this point. Have an Xbox now and when you have a PC seems weird. Yeah, exactly. Right now, I feel like the thing with Xbox is that they're just trying to get them into people's homes. You know, like they want people to have an Xbox, whether it's your game, your main console or not. They just want people to have an Xbox, but then also have Game Pass. Cause that brings them in so much money. <laughs> Microsoft better sponsor you. You what the heck? Can't do anything. Knock them out. What the heck? Dude, I can't do anything. Weird. They're using them as spying machines. <laughs> but that's what I mean, like... Um, the other cool thing is, Dev, like, all the games that come out on... Uh... Xbox and Game Pass and stuff, like, most of them are... If it's... If it's a game that's on PC Game Pass and Xbox Game Pass then uh you can play with people from both so what i'm proposing to you is if you had an xbox and game pass if there are any multiplayer games on game pass that are on both we'd be able to play don't have game pass but my friend and i game share so that's what i have to guys guys he got out gotta call tom i honestly didn't know that um PlayStation had like a version of game sharing, but apparently like they lock you out of a lot of stuff. I technically I game share um, with my, my girlfriend, like my Xbox that I have, I do have still like my Xbox One S. Um, I have that set to um her house so that way if there's any games i want to play there i can play them yeah no i totally get that i was just curious what your opinion on on it was though especially with xbox being the cheaper console and them saying they're going to support the other one for uh ps4 for a while i feel like that's going to be um, unless if like somebody really wants that hardware upgrade, like that's going to help a lot of people or have a lot of people hold back for a bit. PS4 game share is way more difficult than Xbox way of doing it. Oh God. It has to be your primary. It's because they lost license. Yeah. That's what I was seeing. Like a lot of people were complaining about the whole uh, Avengers and so many people were like I bought the game but I it's locked and then it started finding out that's like no you didn't buy the game you're game sharing so somebody else bought it so like apparently people are having issues with uh, 
with that, with Avengers. They locked the licensing to people that game share. Also, games you got from PS Plus is locked once your membership is gone. Shit. It's interesting. I haven't had PS Plus in almost a year because I don't play much online anyway. Oh, yeah, amazing. same. The only time I was thinking about getting PlayStation Plus was because of uh, I was thinking about getting it for uh, what was it? Um, crap, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, UFC 4 because I was thinking about possibly playing multiplayer for it, but I never got that. <laughs> Dude just went flying. <laughs> I, I think that personally, the whole paying to play online needs to go away. I don't, I think that's very, very outdated, especially today. But uh, I don't know how long that's going to take. Because paying to, I mean, like, I totally get the paying for, like, exclusive games or deals or things like that. Discounts. But the fact that you have to pay to play online, I think that's a very, very outdated model. That should not be a thing anymore. I've also seen some people have theories out there that by making online just base online free, it gives people more money to be able to spend on like other digital content and uh, other things like that. Because now instead of paying like the $60 a year, they might be more likely to buy like a season pass for a game or buy another game. Um, I've seen that argument made. I don't know how much stability it has or like how realistic it is, but I think, I mean, just me thinking about it, it I mean, it makes sense, I think. So. Uh, I do have Rocket League. And it is crossplay, isn't it? I have Rocket League on uh, PC. <gasps> Wait. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Ring ding 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 ding. Avengers tweeted something. Here's the scoop on the week ahead in-game events, challenges, and marketplace updates. What the hell? <laughs> I guess I'll read that after this mission. It's a, it's a whole page on info. Probably in my opinion isn't fun mostly just because I suck. I, I'm not going to say I'm good, but surprisingly, I'm okay at the game. Like, I'm, I'm decent. I don't know if I can say I'm great or I'm good or anything like that, but I've played it a few times. Like, actually, a month or two ago, I played with a buddy of mine who's, like, pretty highly ranked in the game. And, like, we were actually doing pretty good. 
and somehow I can actually make some like okay uh, trick shots and stuff like sometimes not not the best but I was able like if the ball was in the air I was able to use the rockets to propel me into the air and then get actually a hit on the uh, the ball and I made like two uh, goals by doing that a few times I'm okay casual is too easy or competitive is too sweaty I suppose I should be impressed you defeating my men like that I am not <laughs> this man that made it though <laughs> now where were we we back in a bit all right sounds good yobex i see you've cut your way through the amateurs hmm. but now amateur hour is over <laughs> now you die your determination is impressive <laughs> fuck you <laughs> You, you never win. Oof. Right into the wall too. Damn. He got like no hits on me too. Calls are the best. I don't know what you mean. Fuck the election. You did this, Lee, and I'm coming for you, motherfucker. We're coming for you, and we're going to take you down, whether you like it or not. You're going down. You're going down today. Sorry, boys. Yeah, actually, uh. Take Mr. Tong's car. Just get in the car. think that they could have made this game like more of like a um, kind of like Yakuza that's what or, yeah like with with Yakuza you kind of like get the same story like the same character but then it keeps developing further and further and further um, I feel like they could do that easily Toss to the series DK, if they cut him off from being a cop completely colors, and they just put him as like a uh fighting with the other gangs you must stop this and stuff because that's literally like what yakuza support. is is it's just you play kiru who no is in uh yeah, the one back. family and then there's a bunch of internal family issues and stuff and then all of a sudden more families get involved and then one person wants to throw the other person and then all these people start betraying each other even though they're part of the same family and there's right. also gang gang fights with other families and then there you have it Really? I don't know. I really like the world. There are a lot of like, um, I'll say the opposite. Uh, I feel like the world is very lived in. Like there's, there's a ton of, um, other 
story missions and stuff that I could be doing that like increase your fame in the the world. I feel like it's it's kind of all there. I'm just not doing those. I'm only doing like the the side missions. I mean the main missions. Excited for Watch Dogs Legion. The world doesn't look dead in, in my opinion. Yeah, I th I'm really excited for that too. I cannot wait for for uh, Watch Dogs Legion. I think that game looks sick. I love like the just the way that the characters work for that game. Being able to recruit anybody that you see, finding out information about people, being able to play a co-op too. That's going to be really cool. It's like the perfect combination for me. I know you're excited about that Republic game. What game? Oh, the BMX dude, I am actually excited for that game. Not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty cool. Whatever that game turns into being, I mean, I think it looks fun. Let's see. See, my thing is, I'm waiting for, um, once Watchdog Legions comes out, I'm getting Uplay Plus, which is uh, Ubisoft's, uh, it's their subscription service, which you gain access to all their, uh, their games for, it's like $15 a month or, or $100 a year. So that right there will pay for not only Watch Dogs Legion, but also, uh, oh shoot, that'll pay for Watch Dogs Legion and for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Because if I was to buy both of those games, just at their base price, that'd be $120 since both games are $60. But by paying $100 for the yearly subscription or the 15 a month, you're easy, you're already getting the, you're, you get the ultimate editions of the games basically for free. And then every other game that releases within that year or the next, you also instantly gain access to. Gonna kill you. Surprise. So, boom. Surprise. Uh, shit. Drop Time the to mic. Die, Fuck you. Damn. It's taking all types of hits right now. Run. Why do I feel like we're going to die from bleeding out after we just kill everyone? <laughs> I guess you'll have to wait and see. Jump on the boat. Ah! I don't think we made it. He got away. Rip. What is going on? Yo, fuck, way! You need on the hole! It's like, guy. Uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, Fast and Furious. Realism.
Whoa. Dude, this is crazy. They're putting people into... into the new cyberpunk game. Piece of fucking shit. Fuck! How does it Car Carnage you know that sold you out. is going to be in, t in it. Fuck your way. And now Almost so is Alana you Pierce. Jackie. You were supposed to die with Winston. Dog eyes blew that. And that poke guy tall. <laughs> fucking worth a slug, girl. Yeah, put me in the game. That's okay. <laughs> I am gonna enjoy killing you myself. Fuck you. Got him. Alright, let's go, big smile Lee. You want more? Is that all you got? It's like grandpa fighting right now. Come on. Whoa. Hit him. Hit him. What happened to all the blood? <sighs> right into the ice chipper. This man is in my custody. Yes, sir. You okay? Uh, yeah. Where's Pendrew? He's up for promotion. Interpol. He's done with us. He's dirty, Raymond. He outed me to Big Smile Lee. Take it from me, Way. Whatever you heard, it won't matter. The only voice they hear is Pendrew's. You did what you came here to do, all right? Let's get you cleaned up. Damn, they made a big ass scene. <laughs> but I am cleaned up. Whoa. Dude, I would love to get the a fuck? sleeping dogs too. Officer Shen. Me. Superintendent Pendrew, I'm surprised to see you. Oh, you're the one who chased my boys away? Oh, you know why I'm here. I can imagine all sorts of reasons. Uh, I'm sure you will tell me. I'm moving on to greener pastures, but not without taking care of some unfinished business with you and Sonny first. We had a deal, did we not, Pendrew? I gave you the three tigers. It made your career. And I let you and Sonny continue operating. A sacrifice you were willing to make. At the time. I'm putting Sonny away, and with you gone, I'll finish this once and for all. The only difference between you and me is... 
I know what I am. Jesus Christ. Pendulum, I've got you, you son of a bitch. You'd think he'd be smart enough to erase that footage. What would you like me to say? Whatever I did, I made Hong Kong a better place. I served the greater good. This guy's in a lot of movies, you, too. You let them get to you. You abandoned your duty, officer, and became one of them. You deserve to be handed over to Big Smile Lee. Did I? <laughs> well, Pendrew, I guess everyone gets oh. what he deserves. Including you. You ready for life in prison? What? Because all your old buddies are going to be waiting for you. I made sure they found out what you did to Uncle Poe. That's a fucking death sentence. I know. Where you can't. I won't last a day in there. That's the plan. Inspector. Officer. I just wanted to say thanks. For what? It's me who should for be... For helping me close cases. Do something I could feel good about. Hell, for helping me stay sane. My pleasure. So, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. I mean, job's over, but... I don't really have anywhere else to go. <laughs> Strange to say it after all that's happened, but... Hong Kong kind of feels like home. Yeah. But which Hong Kong, officer? Brew. Hey, what about Wei Shen? He proved himself to be loyal to me. One way or the other. And isn't that what really matters? Leave him be. Yes, Anjay. Drive. We did it, boys. We finished. Wow, sleeping dogs. I almost said watch dogs. <laughs> we finished sleeping dogs. And there it is. End game. Congratulations. You can now continue playing to complete any remaining content and challenges. Could finish uh, the serial, serial killer lead. But I don't know. Um, let me see here. Let me save. And I want to go to the main menu. And okay, so what are these? The yeah, main story, Nightmare in North Point, and Year of the Snake. I'm pretty sure one of these DLCs takes place after the game. I think Nightmare and North Point is like the the other DLC. I don't know why that comes up. Let's see. We get a store page. Here we go. Hmm. What is this?
Street Racer Pack. Year of the Snake. We're doing a cutscene. It is. Some Rocket League and self goal. Alright. <laughs> Sounds good, Dev. Uh, unlike the original where all it can be accessed, Sleeping Dogs is different. Uh, unlocks the DLCs once a player reaches their respective plot points. Okay. So, like, what? Doesn't really say. So, like, all this content's available? Yeah, the snake takes it after the original wish and starts a normal police work again, but initially given punishment duty as a beat cop due to the carnage caused in the main storyline. Our way is almost immediately encounters a cult that is doing their best to usher in the apocalypse of the bang during Hong Kong's New Year celebration. All missions long and gives way the ability to taste the rest and opponents in combat. Your snake is accused from main menu and played separately from the campaign. We might might play it uh dragon master pack okay i did see some of these outfits police protection pack interesting all dlc are included in the sleeping dogs definitive edition swat pack Must have law enforcement pack to use outfit and vehicle outside of mission. I could continue some of the, um, the cop missions in the main story, or I could do Year of the Snake. Um, I might do Year of the Snake. What's the Nightmare on North Point? Nightmare in North Point. Big Scar Wu. Uh, feature is one of the most stood against. Du -du -du -du. So sitting now in chaos, Wei Shen must now. Face challenge is sinister and anything before. Yeah, so pretty much this is like the supernatural one where you fight a bunch of like <laughs> supernatural enemies. I'm good on that. What the? Kind of cool. Uh, is there like a missions for the cop? Our missions found in the SWAT DLC for the original can be that each mission will have a way wear either the SWAT tactical uniform or CSI uniform, oftentimes driving an STU. Also be provided with weapons, outfits, and vehicles from that. I did do one. Yeah, we did the alley bus. Oh no, we got the, we did this alley bus here too because we got the motorcycle. That's actually pretty cool. Armed robbery. I don't know. Maybe I will finish off the uh, the main story missions that, or the that stuff. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll go ahead and check this out. 